The next step will involve the insertion of these 10 millimeter sintered bronze bearings. For the bridge section, it will require four bronze bearings on three parts. The back plate of the bridge will require two. The front plates will require one. Make sure that the bridge is assembled by placing them on top of each other like this so you understand which direction they will go. Once it is assembled, take the first insert and line it up in this face. Take another insert and line it up on this face. Flip the back plate around and insert the other two inserts. Once they are in, take them and push with your finger until they snap in place and will move no further. Do not press too hard or you may crack the acrylic. If an insert isn't completely flush when you can press it in by hand no further, take it and press it on the table, distributing pressure around the insert as evenly as possible. The front plate of the left-hand side of the bridge will require an additional 4 millimeter internal bore ball bearing. Place it on the same side so that the flanges of this bearing and the previous sintered bronze bearing are on the same side. Next, we will attach the pulley to the motor. The pulley has a 1.5 millimeter hex key. The shaft of the motor has a flat side. Take the set screw and put it across from the flat side so that it slides on gently. Then take the hex wrench and turn the screw till it will turn no more and is locked onto the shaft. Now we will attach the motor to the back plate of the bridge. Make sure that the bearings flanges are facing away from you and take the motor and have it come up through the plate. We will use one of these screws that came with the snap motors to secure it to the plate. Make sure it is secured tightly and secure it in all four corners. These are the side plates for the carriage. Place again one on top of the other, insert the bearings, flip over the bottom piece, and insert the other set of bearings. The next step will involve these four millimeter internal bore ball bearing inserts. We will start by taking these side plates to the x-axis tensioner system. There are four of these plates and make sure to break them down into pairs. On one side, place the tensioner on top. On the other side, flip it over and place the tensioner on top. This will ensure that when they are brought together, they will be on the inside of the tensioner system. The Y and Z axis tensioner side plates are symmetric and therefore the inserts can be placed from either side. The next step will be the insertion of these six millimeter sintered bronze bearings. The right face of the chassis will require the insertion. To ensure that you're in placing it from the right side, have the plate facing up with the hole on your right hand side. Take the insert and place it gently in the hole. For these inserts, which are the supports for the x-axis drive system, make sure that the insert is going in gently and evenly into the device. Try to ensure that these both go in from the same direction. The z-axis shaft support plate will require an additional bearing. Place the bearing on the side when you have this plate facing to your left and the curve facing to your left. Next, we'll attach a motor to the Z motor support plate. Make sure when putting it on that this piece faces the same side as the logo and that the curve is towards the top of the motor. Next, we will attach the pulley to the motor. The pulley has a 1.5 millimeter hex key. The shaft of the motor has a flat side. Take the set screw and put it across from the flat side 
so that it slides on gently. Then take the hex wrench and turn the screw till it will turn no more and is locked onto the shaft. The next step is to insert the 10 millimeter center bronze bearings into the top and bottom plate of the Z table. Ensure that these plates are lined up so that all the holes are completely aligned. Once that is accomplished, take the bearings and place them in the holes on the top gently. Then take the next plate, flip it over, and insert the bearings. This will ensure that the bearings are opposite from each other when they are placed on the final device. Next, we will assemble the X motor motor support plate. Take the plate and the motor, a coupler shaft and the screws you will require from the snap motor kit. Take the coupler and place it over the X motor shaft so that the set screw is in line with the flat side of the shaft. Use a 1.5 millimeter Allen hex wrench to tighten to the motor. Next, you'll need to attach the plate to the motor. It is important that the curved part of the plate faces away from the logo and on the bottom of the motor. This will ensure that it fits properly. Insert the screws and secure it tightly.